why would this fly just decide to start patching around now that I'm talking about money, now that I'm talking about a serious thing? Back to sender. Back to sender. Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Austin Becca. If today is your first time on my channel, you are definitely welcome and you are just in time because I'm about to talk about something that I've always been scared about. Okay, this is something that I've always been scared about. I, I, it's something I've never wanted to talk about. Um, it's just something that every time I think about it, I'm just like, but uh, you know what, you're a failure. So shut your trap, okay? Nobody wants to listen to the rubbish that you have to say, okay? But today, I'm overcoming that fear because I feel like I'm at that point in my life where I can, you know, comfortably sit and share some things with you guys. Um, especially because I think that this channel should be a place where we learn from like one another. And that's part of the reason I decided to, you know, do this video. Um, so today we're going to be talking about money. Like, yes, money. I said it. Ego. Kudi, Owo, you know, if there's any other language I didn't mention, please let me know what you call money in your language, you know, let's know all of those things in the comment section. And basically, today what I'm going to be sharing with you guys is generally money management, okay? Let me say this, okay? I have been a very terrible person when it comes to money management, okay? So everything I'm going to be sharing with you guys in this video are things that... I have tried to put into practice in the last one month okay I know some of you might say one month is really small for you to begin to talk about it but look my life has changed in one month okay so if I could do some things right just in the space of one month then how about letting people know about it so that in the next 11 months we all can grow together okay does that make sense if that makes sense to you, then this video is definitely for you. Um, but if it doesn't, um, maybe you should go watch my Bibi Niger vlog instead, you know, and just laugh, okay, and and be happy. If you're like me, um, who grew up with a messed up psychology about money, because guys, trust me, I'm the worst, you know, person to talk to about money and savings. God, what was savings? Like, save what? Huh? Huh? I have not had potato chips, I have not had pizza, and you are telling me to save money? Are you, are you drunk? Are you, are you like, is something wrong with you? Okay, so that's who I basically was um, up until I met someone, and then when I met this person, um, there were just a lot of things on my mind, and I just felt like, uh, better this is not the kind of person you want to be around because you know he's really organized, um, you know he. He's just one person to have his life planned out, you know. You know, he's always big on investments, big on this, big on that. And I'm like, Betha, what are you even doing? Like, what what are you even doing? Okay, so I don't think you need to be with this person. But, you know, over time I've learned that being with people who have um, greater visions, you know, sometimes has an effect on you positively and that is if you wanted to actually because for the first few months of talking to this person you know hanging out with this person it was just like um better. i mean you guys cannot be friends okay but you know over time i'm like you know what if he can think this way then better what is wrong with you he has just one head okay it's not like he has two heads just one okay so i started picking a few things from him i started reading books um I started watching videos that actually matter um, I just basically started doing a lot of research okay because I wanted to become a better person I think that I have found some things that you know were helpful to me over the past one month um, I'm telling you because one month is a big deal for me because I know myself okay the only good thing you can do for yourself is to tell yourself the truth and I'm going to be honest with you guys I'm a terrible person when it comes to money management and you know just saving money okay I'm going to be sharing with you guys some tips that I have found really helpful in the past one month now this one month like January was just a great month for me I don't know about you guys when I started off 
the year 2019 i said to myself look this year baby girl you have to do a lot of things differently and i know that i made my intro video and i stated the fact i said that we need to become better versions of ourselves and i did not just say that because you know i was bored and i wanted to talk no i told you guys that everything i was saying to you people in that video was as good as me speaking to myself okay and if i'm going to be honest with myself i do not want it to be one-sided i want to grow and i want you to grow okay so part of the things that i would like to talk about today includes our salaries okay i'm assuming that everybody on here has a salary okay i'm assuming that you guys all work because if you're a lazy person you should not be watching my video you know why because the money that you're supposed to use to probably just eat and get fatter you're using it to be watching youtube no if you want to be lazy be lazy to the fullest don't watch anything that i'm saying okay anyways if you are earning a salary it means that you are working obviously now there are certain things that we need to look out for when working so you could be working in a corporate organization it could be that you're working as a freelance person whatever it is but the fact that you earn a salary means that you have to know some things about your salary you know how you work in a corporate organization and like every year they do some sort of review performance review and stuff like that they should also do salary reviews like i'm strongly of the opinion that they should do that because the things that i knew prior to working in that organization aren't the only things that i know now okay so it means that i have grown over time so if you're doing a review of my performances and saying oh look better um, you did a good job um, in the year 2018 that, that should reflect in my salary okay you cannot expect that I'm putting more effort into the work over time you guys can see the work and yet you choose to pay me the same amount of money that's not going to work okay there should be some sort of increase I'm not saying you should ask for an increase like every single time like every other day no but at some point you need to speak up if the company isn't doing anything about it and if they refuse to do anything about it there's really no harm in walking away something I've noticed we're always so scared to walk away when the pay doesn't work for us and then we, we end up taking a bad job and then we end up spending so much more than we earn another important thing i have to state in this video is your debt management guys like some of us owe a lot of debt like let's not lie okay let's be honest some of us owe a lot of debt um particularly i'm not that kind of person to owe debt because um the way i am the way my brain is wired i don't know thank god i have that kind of brain actually i don't think i'm the only one that loves nice things but if I have to get those nice things and I have to get them on credit then I'm not going to get them because you know I'm just of the opinion that it's not healthy for me you know like when someone knocks on my door I'm like hmm, who is this again who am I owing money or my phone is ringing I'm scared like maybe it's the person I borrowed the money from or you know I'm just so scared of all of those kind of things so I always choose to buy those things when I can afford them this is actually not me judging anybody okay people accumulate debts over time but I'm saying that you should create a workable payment plan okay do not try to shove your debts under the rug because your debt is going nowhere like you know how you're putting pancake on your face your debt is on your face the way you spray perfumes and, and you know body oils that's how your debt is like on your skin your debt goes everywhere with you okay so you need to create a workable plan now if it could be that you earn 10,000 naira per month and then you're owing somebody 10,000 naira it's possible I'm not saying you should take all of the 10,000 naira and then just give to the person because that's like madness that's stupid okay what you need to do is create a plan so it could be that you have a conversation of course you have to have a conversation with whoever it is that you're owing some money don't always ignore their calls and make them look stupid don't be that person tell the person look i know i'm owing you ten thousand naira i cannot pay you this ten thousand naira all at once okay but i could pay you 500 weekly i could pay you one thousand naira monthly that's the only way you can clear your debts and sleep debt free does that make sense can i get an amen another thing that i think would um over oh this slide anyways another thing that i think we need to take into a lot of consideration is investments 